All right, in this tutorial, we're going to place a video in a Maya. And so what we want to first do, and we go ahead and put on the grid, and we're going to go ahead and create polygon plane. And go ahead, create that. Hit five so you can see it. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate it the correct axis. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 90. Place it where we can see it above the grid. You can place it anywhere anywhere in the scene that you want. Now we're going to try to put a movie on here. Alright, so we're going to go to uh, it's a polygons, rendering, lighting and shading, and assign new material. We can do Lambert. Go to color, go to the checkerboard. Instead of hitting file like you normally do, you're going to hit movie. Okay, so we're going to go to the folder. Go to desktop, and I've got a movie here, hopefully. Let's see if I'm on the desktop, really. Alright, so it's, you may want to do best guess, so you can select it. Uh, it was looking for a, an image in IFF, so do best guess. Hit open. It should load it up. All right. In order to uh, see the sequence, you've got to click on Use Image Sequence. That will help find it. Also, the magic key number six will bring it in there. All right. So you can see the video is in there now. One more thing you need to do is clean up is the UV mapping of it. So we're going to go ahead and go to Windows. UV texture editor, and you'll notice this line right here is cutting uh, the person off in half. So we're going to go ahead and go UV, and I'm doing a marquee. Okay, finally showed up, and I'm going to pull this up. Right, let's do that again. UV, do a marquee. Acting really slow. Let's do another marquee. Okay, so I'll pull this up to the top. You can see the very bottom is all the way to the bottom. And what that will do will help uh, make this correctly proportionate into this polygon plane. All right. So if it's more square, you can uh, go ahead and stretch it out so it's the the NTSC format. All right. So you'll need to go ahead. Type in 3,000 or however long your video is, and you'll be able to see your whole uh, sequence frame by frame. All right, that's the end of the tutorial.